Our peaceful hobby farm has been invaded by bugs this year, even though our garden gnome has tried his best. This nego negron tree was brought from New York and planted here in Virginia, zone 7B. This is its third summer in the ground here. I think it was a two-year-old tree when we brought it down. And the grown has taken several years, all these years, to start producing figs, as plentiful as I would like. But it's a late starter, but finally it's starting to get figs. They're real tiny. But it is getting them in the nodes. They're hard to see. Grown figs blowing at the nose. They get a, they have a long neck. Not every branch has them. Chicago Hardy is loaded with figs. I think this tree is nine years old. This is also its third summer here. But every branch, every node has figs. And that seems to be typical of the fig trees once they get established. So there must be hundreds on this tree. It's amazing that one tree can give so much. As it gets bigger, it'll give more. And it's right here off our old deck where you can just pick them. I'm trying to leave an open center so you can see down into the center which should help them ripen. Last year, all the figs on this tree ripened. We had figs for months. Next to the mother tree, the mother hardy Chicago tree, I have my Sicilian. Now, this Sicilian tree, I cut it down a lot last fall to try to give it an open center. And I thought at first I might've cut it down too much, but because it took a while to grow new branches, but it is growing new branches and it is getting figs. Figs on every branch. I love the Sicilian tree. The leaves on the fig trees are very healthy compared to the other fruit trees in our farm. Next to that tree is this. I'm not sure what this tree is. It's, a, it's an unknown tree. It's not that unknown, though, because when we moved, I lost the label. So it's got to be one of the ones I had. And I had, um, it doesn't look like the Negron. And I don't think it was a hardy Chicago, but the leaves are very similar. It could be another Chicago. more Sicilian figs. And then next to it, I have another one planted right next to it. And this one's also given figs. And none of them have ripened yet. What we need is a good rain, I think, and then they'll plump up and start ripening up, I think, because they are getting pretty to a nice size. And I'm not sure what type of fig this tree is. Getting lots of figs. This is Kadota. It's a green fig. And it's um, not as old as 
the other trees so it's taking longer to get established and also I'm dirt layering one some of the lower branches here you can see so that might stop fig production slow it down anyway and then we saw Negron already and this is LSU purple LSU purple I tends to get put out a lot of suckers at the bottom and I've had to keep going in there and cut them down and it's late to set figs but it was also the first to get some green growth on it in the spring the one in uh, the young trees ahead it is starting to get some figs however I just think this one needs a couple more years probably and it'll be really productive. Right now I just have to control all the green growth and then next to it I have another hardy Chicago taken from the mother tree as a cutting and this tree that is about four years old and it's I'm probably going to have to move it because it's going to get really big so probably later on this fall This vine, I just happened to notice, it's infested with these um, bugs. I didn't spray this vine, you see? Look, they're even mating. The June bugs, they're all over, they're all through this thing. I, I tried neem, I've tried perithrin, the organic. I've tried um, milky spore, but that went into the soil and that kills the grubs which the beetles hatch out of. So I'm giving in and spraying it with some seven, which I know will work. Because these are just gonna destroy my orchard. I sprayed with the seven and it is taking effect. It's about five minutes later. See this one, he's on his back. I hate to have to do it because I've been organic for three years. This has been my third year here. They're struggling, but I had to do it. They're, um, they, I've just planted an orchard this year, and they were killing my fruit trees, so I ended up spraying my fruit trees. So I'll come back later here and inspect these. I had been hand-picking them, the bugs off at first and feeding them to my chickens before I tried spraying with this seven. But it's just gotten out of hand. I can't keep up with it. I spend the whole day picking uh, bugs off my trees and it's a losing battle. So, I'll come back to these later. 10 minutes and the seven is doing its work on these Japanese beetles, those June bugs. And these orange bugs, I don't even know what they are. They're in the potatoes. They're like a soft body bug. They feel like a tick almost. So I've never had these before. I don't know what they are. But they, they, I'm thinking they might have come out of the wood chips, actually. That, um, you know, the, the company, they get the trees from the town and you know people are cutting down diseased trees and just because they're ground up doesn't mean it's going to kill whatever it was in there so whereas i like i love having wood chips it keeps the moisture in the soil see i had put some here it does um you know it can't they can't have funguses they can have insects and they don't spray them or treat them or anything they just grind them up and deliver them and they get quite a bit of money I think I got paid 150 for a small truckload, and um, time to spray. So, if you recognize what those orange bugs are in the video, I'd appreciate some help in identifying it. I think I'm going to ask some farmer, local farmers. And here's our first melon, a watermelon. <laughs> 
I gotta make sure my husband doesn't injure it when he mows the grass. I'll have it's growing outside of the garden, but I'll have to do some put something around it. There's some type of a moth trying to land on. Um, I think this is a plum tree. Um, it is a plum tree, but the tag is faded already, even though I used permanent marker. And it's got a little bit of insect damaged, but I think it'll make it. This is a kefir pear tree. This one was Oh, it's just some of the new growth. I've also cut this one back to try to shape it. And it also has some fungal problems. This is a pear tree, uh, Moon Glow. I also bought this from a, I think it was Lowe's also, or Tractor Supply, one of those, because that's where I bought all my fruit trees. And it hasn't had so much insect damage as it does have fungus, fungal problems. And I, I guess also some of it might be some sunburn from the hot weather. We've been having, I think this one will make it though. I've cut it back also. It's getting some new growth. So that's a good sign. Well, I can see it's time to spray. This is my cherry tree, my Bing cherry tree. And the, the bugs love the leaves. I guess they're sweet. And the new growth, but they're damaging it. So I haven't sprayed in about a week. They just... It's terrible, the damage they do. This is one of two. Um, Bing cherries that I also bought this My spring. other Bing cherry. And this one, I cut it down quite a bit because the top branches were so damaged. It does seem to be getting new growth. So I think later on this evening, I'm gonna spray to protect that new growth because that's what the, these insects go after they go after those young sweet tender leaves here's another fig tree i thought this was my strawberry fig but I, like i said i mixed all the tags up this one's been in the ground three years i also Brought this one from New York. I think I had it in New York for maybe a year or two. Oh, a big bug. Oh my gosh, he's gigantic. Caught him. What I do with these when I catch them, I try not to catch them and get bit. I have to be careful. He's huge. He looks like a big stink bug. What I do is I usually kill them and leave them for my chickens. It's a big one. Usually the figs don't have too many insect problems. But this year we've had quite a few. And we're near a lot of farms here. And the farmers here, they're not organic farmers and they do use insecticides. So I think these bugs, they get some really bad bugs in the area. So in conclusion, I would just point out um, that the fig trees, out of all my trees, seem to have the best resistance against the insect invasion that I have been experiencing here. So I'm going to continue growing my fig. Happy gardening.